hi guys and welcome back to this awesome channel ah <laughs> so guys finally finally i think it was three months my three month holiday came to an end and so as you can see guys i'm in a new place a new environment finally I came back to school and in this video i just want to share with you or rather show you my bed sitter apartment i want to show you the place that i'm dealing with the place that i've, I've been staying and the place that I've, i'm going to be staying till i finish my for the year so guys i'm so happy because now i'm going now i'm starting my third year in university i've just remained with one year and i <laughs> yeah so guys I've never done a house tour ever before so if i miss out on some details please just bear with me i'm also new to this thing oh hey so guys i don't know if you if you're hearing that my voice is kind of heavy crusty it's just because i have a sore throat yeah but hope soon i'm going to get to well and you know guys i like talking a lot and because of that i'm just going to get straight to this video but before make sure you subscribe like share comment we are not ready to 800 subscribers we're almost there guys oh, i'm so happy so for those who don't know i study economics bachelor of economics and statistics at masaimara university so i reside at narok yeah so this apartment is in narok most of the things that I've bought in this house, I've, I found them in Narok. Yeah, and let's get started. Okay, so we are going to start with the entrance door. And this is how it looks. Yeah, so we, when you just enter when you just come in you're going to first find this awesome sheer it is white with purple flowers and i like it so so much then there down is this pink carpet fluffy pink carpet yeah so that's all about the entrance nothing interesting then just when you enter on your left there's this dustbin nothing interesting yeah then when you are at the entrance door and you turn on your left there is the kitchen by the way i like this kitchen a lot because first of all it's huge and like other houses so let me just give you an overview of the kitchen before i get into the details so the working area in this kitchen is so big and then in the kitchen my kitchen area there's this window that has a sheer and two curtains so i bought my door curtain and my window curtains at the same place and guys i'm just in love with purple so that's how my window looks and then that is the sink area then I move forward to my utensils rack. Yeah, that's everything. Then down here we have some more storage. Yes, some more storage. Yeah, so here is where I always put my rice. And then this box, I've also there's a kigunia inside that also has more rice guys you know my ushago is at moya so i'm bound to have a lot of rice yeah and then on this other side we have more storage that is where i place my eggs my cooking oil and my shopping bags yeah so that's it for the storage down there and then when you move upwards, we have more storage. Let me just move back so that you can see. So we have more storage. 
So here, this is where I place my blender and my cereals, the oats and the Weetabix. Yeah. So that's just it for this place. And then you come to the other storage. That is my awesome place. This is the place I'd like to be most of the time when I'm in this kitchen. So on the lower cabinet I've placed my spices, a journey, chumbi, curry, yeah. And then the other part that is where I have my <coughs> flour, ungangano, kamande, and then hapo nyuma kabisa and make my excess when you see chafungua, indomie, scary yeah that's it for the storage then you move down have this um pictures that i downloaded then i went and they were printed out and then i came and stuck them on the wall they just give the kitchen vibe you know yeah that's it and then when coming down that is my stove that is my this is my cooker and then my gas and then this is where i store my tomatoes onions my vegetables mosphorias and then just beside my cooker is my one and only mtungi for storing water so one thing about this place there is water throughout 24 7 so I don't have to have, so I don't need to have a lot of water storing containers. So that's it for my kitchen. Starting from the door. Then we move to my kitchen. So that's it. Okay, now back to the door. Once Okay, now at the door, when you turn on your right, you'll find this awesome shoe rack with my awesome shoes. Okay. Okay, so Okochini, like I store my dirty shoes in my Tumia, and then Uku, the other racks, and the shoes in Yuziko Safi. Then on top, I have my gallery wall. Yeah, by the way, this. This work was this uh, decorating the whole house. My friends helped me. And thank you if you're watching this video. So, for the visual, mm, I like it so much. That's it. Then my show rug. Then, now when you're on, in the kitchen, straight is where you find my bed. That is the place that I'm always at most of the time. That's my bed. I got this curtain, by the way, from Naivas. I bought this, I purchased this from Naivas at a very affordable price. And then my duvet, I don't know where my mother bought it from. And then there's my dead pillow. My one and only pillow. <laughs> so guys, I just like purple pink As you can see i'm trying to do like a purple pink theme in this house then after my bed is this other awesome butterfly wall guys like i don't know i just like butterflies and anything that is pink i think i've seen a lot of pink and purple in this video yeah so there's my butterfly wall yeah then my study area and this carpet that is just beside my bed so here's i've just pla placed my medicine as i've told you guys i'm not feeling well and this other drawer that is i've just kept a lot of many things a lot of yeah and then here a lot of nothing <laughs> okay coming to my <laughs> my desk area okay on this side i've placed my makeup 
my sprays, my masks, my everything. Anything that I use after I shower. Yeah, and then this desk has some drawers. This is where I place all my chargers, my mouse, my everything, and my specs. And then on this other, I place my laptop and my book. Yeah, things that I used I usually go to class with and that's it for my study area and my bed area so let me just give you an overview hmm. okay moving forward here is my wardrobe it's so huge and this this is the thing but then as i was looking for an apartment i was looking for an apartment that has a wardrobe because guys stress yes so transient story to you honey bags to zangu a lot of bags okay this is the kuchuni bags and then my suitcase and then up and for me my tripod stand and my ring light eco hopper and then okay this is where I just place my mask okay and then we could go go on go so guys if we imagine me without this wardrobe and using was water and then hapachini kabisa is a place my extra shopping my toiletries my mafuta my everything yes mm -hmm. and then on this other side i just place my sweaters my bed sheets my duvet my blanket and then on the lowest the there's more clothes. Mm, more clothes. More clothes. Guys, okay, so I will tell me how they're functioning. And then this is my apron. I just put it to go home and then I came with it. Then Kashin don't takwana yanka and can takwana yaka people kitchen. So I chat we can have by the time of Kirivan Takwana Yekapo. Yeah guys, then those are my masks. And you're not to appoint about to zine a fit. And that's it for my wardrobe. And then after wardrobe, we come up my clothes dustbin, young go chafu, my buckets, my two buckets, then I put on a sink, my soap, my corner. Then one thing about this sink, it's not functioning. It's not so I've decided to be placing my soap dish up and then hapa i have this awesome carpet it is cream white carpet and then we move on to the bathroom nothing interesting in the bathroom trust me guys nothing interesting so yeah that's just it for my bathroom and then on this other side, I found my inner wear. So I have a rod. I just placed my towel on the bed, shower And then this apartment, I could just shower head. And I'm in love with this bathroom because it's huge. It's so huge. But the guys, this the tiles are clean. Just that I put my towel on but they're very clean. It's so huge, so cool and we sure it's just my so suguacho na spray. Yeah, that's it. What in we saw Oh then there's this rug up a kitchen. I bought it from neighbors. Okay, those rugs, my carpet, that rug, that also other the door carpet and this other one I purchased them from Naivas. And then my my cooker, I got it 
No, my mother sent it for me. And then my cooking table, I there's this fundi who is a friend of ours. We are my friends, my friends and I. So I let me tell you, it's a very affordable price. And this this shura, this is the very first thing I ever purchased. When you learn that we should talk about hostels, shule. I also got it to Gunaro at a very affordable price. And then this chair, I bought it somewhere random. And then this cassette table, this is the second thing. I think I didn't even know Pamoja and Ashura. Yeah. Zikiwa Zote, Ashura and I said, I bought them at 3000 And then this study table, Fundi Moyal Tengenezia kitchen table, is the same Fundi Alim Tengenezia. Uh, study table and guys that's it for my awesome house i hope i've done my best showing you giving you a tour because guys hey so that's it for my house and i'm so in love with this house this i'll be staying for the next one and a half years because i'm finishing school next year april yeah, so guys hope you like this video hope it was informative hope it is enjoyable and until next time bye don't forget to subscribe like share and comment